Let's take a look at how you we can do some calculations on Treasury bills in Google Sheets. So the U.S. Tre Treasury issues a number of different securities to finance uh, the U.S. government. And the terminology they use is based on the original maturity. So the shortest term securities they issue are Treasury bills. And those mature in up to 52 weeks or one year. They also issue treasury notes and treasury bonds. Treasury bonds being the longest uh, term uh, security they issue, and those can go to 30 years. Now, in the case of a treasury bond, they'll pay interest every six months. But in the case of a treasury bill, which might mature in three months, it doesn't make sense for the treasury to issue an interest payment. So what they do is they sell it at a discount and they sell it for a price below the maturity or par value. And the difference between the price you pay and the maturity value is the interest that you're receiving. So here's some of the calculations we can do. We can calculate the T-bill price, and that's going to be one minus this term here, which is the discount times the DSM. This is the number of days between maturity and settlement divided by 360, and then we multiply by 100. We can calculate the Treasury bill yield, which is 100 minus the price, divided by the price, times 360, and again, adjusted for the number of days between maturity and settlement. Finally, there's a bond equivalent yield, which is 365 times the rate divided by 360 minus, and then here we have in parentheses, the rate times, again, the number of days between um, settlement and maturity. Now again, we could do the formula here and that's going to work fine, but Google Sheets actually has functions that will do this for us. So if you want to calculate these, if you look up here at this, this menu bar, or toolbar, if you don't see anything here, you can click these dots here and you get this drop down menu. And if you see at the end here, we have this sigma. Well, if you click that on, you get a bunch of different functions. And we're interested in the financial functions. And if you go over here, you can see they have a bunch of different financial functions. And here they have, for example, T-bill price. So it tells you what to type in. If you don't happen to have that information, it looks like this. Just click this question mark and it tells you what to put in. I've put in the settlement, the maturity, the price, and the discount here, and we'll just do the calculation. So settlement comes first, maturity, and again I separate with a comma, and I put in the discount, and then I hit enter, and I get 99.1. 6719, etc. So per $100 par value. So this, this is a, a treasury bill that matures in 28 days. Okay, There's not really much difference between what you pay and what you receive, obviously. So, you know, but you're not going to be buying $100 worth. You're going to be buying, for example, $10,000 worth. So you would just scale this accordingly. You would put, pay $9,967 dollars and 19 cents and then you get 10,000 when it matured. If we want the T-bill yield, again we can do the same thing, take advantage of the function in Google Sheets, get the yield function and again it tells us what to type in, settlement and maturity and finally the price and we get 0.04218 07, so this would be 4.218%. And then the T-bill equ uh, bond equivalent, same thing. Let's uh, find that function. This is T-bill EQ. And again, we put in settlement. We put in maturity. And we put in the discount. And we get... 0 0.0429074. So a little bit different use, using the bond equivalent approach as opposed to the T-bill 
yield. So you have these functions in Excel, I'm sorry, in, in Google Sheets, and they're quite handy and easy to use to do these calculations.